So we're using this uh this this angle which we is set on this this tool, okay, and that, that runs parallel with the with the blade uh, the chain, and then I'm sharpening the teeth. I've done a few already we've seen, uh, and now what I'm doing is I'm just going through flat flat or 90 degrees to the bar. I need one more on there because I can just now it's biting. So that's giving me a cut, a nice tooth sharpen. Move it along. We've got another one next to it. There's two the same. Sometimes they should skip really, but anyway. So. One more. And like I was showing you, you, you know, this this flat file here, the underneath of that is filing this drag down, which is this bit here, keeping it slightly lower than this uh, cutting tooth, which is very important because we don't want this higher than the tooth. Um, and that's a little thing people should know about when they're sharpening these tools. Then we carry on until we finish. Got a few more to do. Let's cut right in there. Nice. Uh, let's move it on a bit more. I should be putting my glasses on, really. I can't. <laughs> Yeah, that's a nice bite on there and we're back to where I made the mark with the pen so we've sharpened that too so all the teeth facing that way on this side are sharpened so what I'll do is now I'll take it out of the clamp turn it round and I'll sharpen these teeth and like I said you the, uh, you on your uh, angles of your teeth you've got a little mark on the back of your tooth which is a straight line and that is telling you that angle that's if you didn't have this tool then you could uh, I don't know if you can see that right there but on every tooth it should have that that gives you a guidance to start and as you get more efficient at using uh filing teeth you don't need this tool really you can just do it quickly on the on on site or wherever mm -hmm. you are you know if you're out in the field or whatever but uh anyway so we'll whip that round and we'll have a look at that in a minute